Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 4th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. As sunspot region 3942 cresting into view, top left hand region has produced three minor X-class solar flares the past 24 hours. It has been very busy. Amazing images here. 304 angstroms. This is showing the last three hours of images on our sun. Big plasma destabilization on the right-hand side. Plasma filament still attached to the surface of the sun. And now completely earth facing. We also have coronal holes to deal with, which has increased our solar wind speeds upwards and over 600 kilometers per second when they were earth facing. Now turning away, and there are no new ones developing. 171 angstroms here. We can see the heliosphere in action, and as well the magnetic fields of the sunspot regions. Right now, there are multiple sunspots on our sun. Solar cycle 25 definitely putting on a show, exceeding predicted values by NASA. Having a look at all the sunspot regions right now, we have 13 sunspot regions. 3947, the culprit of the most recent X-class solar flares, 45 and 43 are primed and ready and earth-facing. Current space weather conditions, we are under strong R3 radio blackouts from that X-class solar flare today. And as well, G1, minor geomagnetic storm impacts. Solar winds right here, right now, 652 kilometers per second, double the average speeds. Showing here the solar X-ray flux, three minor X-class and a strong M-class solar flare the last 24 hours. Solar proton flux rising up into the S1 range. And as well, geomagnetic activity hopping up to a KP5 overnight and throughout the day today during this most recent coronal mass ejection and storm impact. Having a look at our solar winds and as well the pressure on our planet 625 kilometers per second. We are flying, folks. And thank you so much for being a part of this journey and a part of this channel. Looking at tonight's Aurora forecast versus tomorrow's KP4 expected tonight. So look up if you've got clear skies. As well, look for the uh, meteor shower that is going on right now. Looking at Space Weather Prediction Center showing coronal mass ejections. And those are the storms that we were just affected by. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing here. Yesterday's CME that took off towards Venus. Other than that, they have not updated their spiral here. But we do have a new coronal mass ejection to observe. Looking here, Lasco 3. Wide spectrum. Going to be watching on the right-hand side of this disc. Our sun is behind there. And watch for a big CME taking off right there. In the last few images of January 4th. These images brought to you by Soho. Mixed with daily events worldwide. Credit to all the researchers and developers. Here is a look at the most recent coronal mass ejection taking off from our sun. And it looks like it was some backside activity. And as well, one of the outgoing sunspot regions. Or plasma filaments. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. As earthquakes are down, we're under 200 according to USGS. But a lot of earthquakes are still rocking the African plate right now. Largest Today, 
5.7 magnitude earthquake, Ethiopia, awash, Ethiopia, yet again. Multiple active and erupting volcanoes through the region. Notable 4.5 here, Burundi as well. That is close to the Nirigongo and Nirimirigonga volcanoes. Notable 5.0 there, South Indian plate. Quiet through the Philippines, except for the 4.5s. Notable 4.5 here on the Australian continent, Broken Hill, Australia, reporting a 4.5 magnitude earthquake. Very rare place for an earthquake. No deep earthquakes. Fiji, it's actually eerily quiet through the region. Kilauea, still active and erupting. Earthquakes have ceased. Notable activity still continuing between Kamchatka and Japan. And no, no, no notable swarms to talk about across the North American plate. It's actually pretty quiet. 4.9 earthquake there, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. 4.6, Columbia. Notable earthquakes there, uh, the Cocos Plate. As well, Argentina, 4.1. That's the deepest past 24 hours, 214 kilometer depth. As well, Peru with a 200 kilometer depth. That's the last 24 hours for shakers and movers. Have a quick glance at the last seven days. As I said, Africa is taking up a lot of the earthquakes right now, but our planet looks like a pincushion. And Africa looks like it's ready to split in two. So, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody being affected in Africa with these earthquakes and the volcanic events and possible future events. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide. Prayers for humanity. Be ready, aware, and prepared. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes. Big plumes coming out of Popocatépetl in Mexico. And as well, strange plumes coming out of parts of North Korea right now. Hawaii is still an active sulfur dioxide emitter. And things are diminishing across the rest of the world as it was inundated just a few days ago with very thick sulfur dioxide forecast. This is the most recent three-day sulfur dioxide forecast. And as I said, something strange is spewing out of parts of North Korea by Xinjiang and Kangping. Just notable, wanted to point it out. Let's have a look at world weather here as we've got multiple systems affecting Europe this week. Very windy planet right now. Multiple strong lows and whipping highs across the world. Watch for a low to grind through the Mediterranean. High pressure bridge moves in for the long range. Other than that, no major storms other than the ones that are affecting you now. Overlooking North America... Got a couple nor'easters that are going to head out to the Atlantic and then grind back into the Atlantic provinces. Colorado low here. Long range forecast could produce a very large and sizable blizzard for parts of eastern Canada. High pressure ridge moving in in the long range and cold high pressure ridge. Polar vortex is set up big time. Overlooking the rest of the world kind of looks like Somebody's turned on the hose over Papua New Guinea. Big stream of moisture coming out of the Central Pacific. Other than that, no typhoons or hurricanes to talk about in the long-range forecast. Now let's have a look at windy uh, temperature forecast for the next 10 days. Going right up until January 14th. Extreme cold temperatures coming down and every so often warm pockets popping into parts of Alberta. But most of eastern Canada will be gripped into an extreme cold weather event over the next 10 days. So bundle up, stay warm everybody. And stay tuned because long range forecast shows sizable and accumulative 
snowstorms for Canada and the United States. Overlooking at Europe for temperatures, it's actually still fairly warm across parts of Europe. A big high pressure ridge locked across the North American African continent. And all the volcanic activity through Africa, I'm sure, is helping fuel all of that warm air. Let's have a look at our upper level winds. This depicts our polar vortex as winter 2025 is in full swing. Upper level winds in some areas are coming in at 280 kilometers per hour. This is our world today, and this is the Daily Do for you. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please, if you did, give a thumbs up, get in the comments section, and maybe share with a friend or family who might enjoy the show themselves and all the information shared. Much love, everybody. Stay safe and healthy. Stay aware and prepared. Uh -huh.